Oh, the first year in Townsville was really cool. Uh, besides the heat and always sweating and having to eat a lot to keep uh, the weight on, it, it, was, it was really cool. Uh, Christina and I enjoyed it a lot, and uh, the people were great. Uh, the town's great. I'm not a big city guy. I love the small city feel, so uh, we really enjoyed it. Uh, favorite memory from the season was uh, the dunk off with Sam Young. Uh, he definitely dunked on me a couple of times, but I was able to uh, get it back towards the end of the game and kind of show show a uh, white man can jump. Yeah. Uh, favorite game we played in one this year had to have been the Sydney game too. Uh, those jerseys were awesome. You know, I think we really came out. Those were really cool. Uh, the, the fan was great. Uh, the, the crowd was great. Uh, it was a real intense game. Sam Young's an amazing athlete. Uh, this, you know, they, they have a great team, and for us to, you know, when they're fighting for a playoff spot, for us to come in and kind of handle them like we did, and you know, really take it to them, that was an awesome win. Uh, it's going to be off the court, and it was actually from just recently, Mad Monday, where uh, Vinny decided to take my phone and lock me out of it for all night, and he put my passcode in wrong so many times that I needed to connect to iTunes to be able to get my phone to work, and therefore I didn't have a ride home, so I had to walk home from Mad Monday. Uh, in my uh, glory, so it was. Yeah, that was the funniest moment. Uh, can't can't explain that. You know, Russ, 13-year vet, um, just just the highs and lows he's had in his career. But for him to come in his last year and just the way everyone watched him give it his all uh, this season and this, this la the way he came on those last six games, it's just a kind of a testament to the man he is. He just goes out and gives his all, and uh, he's got a great, beautiful family, and you know, he just goes out there and puts the work in every day for his family and for himself, and it's just one of those things that hopefully all of us can take for our careers that, you know, no, no matter where you are, you can, you know, 34 years old, you can still come out and dunk your last points of, the, of your career. Okay. Um, so far, I've talked to him, and it sounds like it's going to be awful, so um, I, I, I'm sad that I'm not going to be able to watch how bad Steve and Pete are, because I guess they're awful, so it's going to be see uh, how much practice they put in and I know they won't put any practice in, so it'll be interesting to see them fumbling over each other. Um, but it should be really entertaining and funny for everybody. Doing great. Just want to say thanks for a fantastic season. The fan support was amazing. Um, everybody here at the, at the function tonight, um, you guys were, you know, all of you were very instrumental in you know, keeping this team together. I'm sure you know, eight months ago, no one thought we'd be at this point. Uh, but you know, this is you know, awesome to have this team function. The end of the year didn't go out as we planned, but I felt that you know, we were really hitting our stride towards the end of the year and, you know, as a team we were really getting better and, you know, this group of guys really stuck together and, you know, that's just a testament to, to us as a playing group, Russ as a captain, to, to, to everything that went into it, um, coaching staff keeping us together, support system, support groups, you know, everyone was great, just make sure this team was on the floor every night and, you know, we were giving our all, so it was really cool. Um, just want to say, everyone, hope you have a great night, and uh, you know, hopefully, this isn't a, a goodbye for, for uh, it's a goodbye for now and not a goodbye for forever. So, uh, go Crocs, and uh, everyone have a great night.